Welcome to the Aptos Developer Course. In this course, we will be learning about Aptos, a cutting-edge layer 1 blockchain designed with a strong base on safety, scalability, and upgradability. I'm Akhil Sharma, your instructor for this course. I'm the founder at Armor AI, a security company that also secures Aptos smart contracts. We are backed by Techstars and Outlier Ventures, and we are part of the Google AI Startup Program, the NVIDIA Inception Program, and the Mercury Race Program. I have taught more than 200,000 engineers across LinkedIn Learning, Udemy, and YouTube. And you can follow me on YouTube, Twitter, and GitHub. My handles are mentioned on the screen. Today's video, which is the first video in this course, is designed in a way that if you're already a Solana developer or a Rust engineer, you will develop an intuitive understanding of what Aptos is and why it's special. Firstly, let's briefly introduce Aptos. Aptos is a layer one blockchain that stands out for its innovative approach to blockchain technology. It uses the Move programming language, which was initially developed on the DM blockchain project. Move is specifically designed for safe and efficient smart contract development, making it a powerful tool for building decentralized applications. Aptos boasts several key features that make it a compelling choice for developers. Parallel execution engine. This engine allows for multiple transactions to be processed simultaneously, significantly enhancing the performance and throughput of the network. Flexible transaction scheduling. Aptos employs a sophisticated transaction scheduling system that optimizes the order and timing of transaction processing, ensuring efficient and fair execution. Modular architecture. Aptos's modular design enables easy upgrades and customization. This ensures that the network can evolve and improve over time without disruptive hard forks. Aptos and Solana are both high performance layer one blockchains but they differ in several key aspects. Understanding these differences is crucial for Solana developers transitioning to Aptos development. So let's compare them across four categories, consensus mechanism, execution model, smart contract languages, and resource-oriented programming. Consensus mechanism. Aptos uses a Byzantine fault tolerance or BFT consensus mechanism called Aptos BFT, which is based on DMBFT. This approach ensures fast finality and high throughput. Solana, on the other hand, employs proof of history or POH combined with proof of stake or POS. POH creates a historical record that proves that an event has occurred at a specific moment in time. Execution model. Aptos features a parallel execution engine that can process multiple transactions simultaneously, significantly increasing throughput. This is achieved through block STM, which speculatively executes transactions and validates conflicts. Solana uses a single threaded execution model, which processes transactions sequentially, but very quickly. Smart contract languages. Aptos uses the move programming language for smart contracts. Now move is a safe and flexible language designed specifically for blockchain use cases. It emphasizes resource oriented programming, which treats assets as first class citizens. Solana uses Rust for its smart contracts, which is a general purpose systems programming language adapted for blockchain use case. Resource-oriented programming. In Move, resources are a fundamental concept. They represent assets that cannot be copied or implicitly discarded, only moved between storage locations. This model closely aligns with real-world assets and provides strong safety guarantees. Solana's programming model doesn't have an equivalent native concept, though similar patterns can be implemented in Rust. Now let's discuss these points in a bit more detail. So both Aptos and Solana are high performance blockchains. Both are known for their speed and efficiency, but they take different approaches to achieve their goals. Let's dive in and see what sets them apart. Aptos utilizes the Aptos BFT consensus mechanism, which is part of the hot stuff family of protocols. One of its notable features is that once a transaction is included in a block, it's finalized immediately. This eliminates the need for waiting periods. Aptos employs a sophisticated data selection and voting system to maintain its swift performance. Solana, on the other hand, integrates proof of history and proof of stake. Proof of history acts like a verifiable blockchain timeline, enabling the network to keep track of events without requiring all nodes to sync continuously. Proof of stake is used to select validators who confirm transactions and earn rewards. Together, Proof of history and proof of stake allow Solana to order transactions efficiently. Where Aptos really stands out is its parallel execution model known as Block STM. This approach allows multiple transactions to be processed simultaneously, resolving conflicts afterward. 
Think of it like having multiple checkout lanes in a store, which speeds up the process significantly, especially when transactions don't interfere with each other. In contrast, Solana employs a single-threaded execution model processing one transaction at a time. The similar approach has its advantages but differs fundamentally from Aptos's parallel execution. So now that we know the differences between these two, if you're a Solana developer, it's going to be really simple for you to get started with Aptos. So now let's take a look at how we can do this by installing the Aptos CLI. So properly setting up the Aptos development environment involves installing the Aptos CLI, creating an Aptos account and connecting to the Aptos testnet. The Aptos CLI is a command line tool that allows developers to interact with the Aptos blockchain, manage accounts and deploy smart contracts. And installing this is just the first step. The installation methods for the Aptos CLI vary depending on the operating system. For Mac OS, Homebrew is a convenient option, while Windows and Linux users can call the installation script. Now, if you're on Windows, you can use WSL2 or a virtual box and have everything set up in Ubuntu Linux itself for higher stability as that's what I will be using throughout this course. And so that you don't face any issues, I'll recommend using a similar setup as mine. Once installed, verifying the Aptos CLI installation is straightforward with the version command, which ensures the installation was successful and the CLI is ready to use. Creating a new Aptos account involves the Aptos init command, which guides users through several prompts. This command is critical as it generates a new private key, which must be securely stored to prevent unauthorized access. Additionally, the initialization process creates a local configuration file .aptos/config.yaml that stores essential settings. Checking the account balance is simple with the aptos account list command, allowing users to manage their assets effectively. The testnet faucet is a tool for developers providing test tokens necessary for development and testing. Using the faucet to fund the newly created account is the first step in setting up the development environment. The testnet is a separate network from the mainnet designed to allow developers to test their applications without risk. It is important to note that the testnet periodically resets, so developers should not rely on long-term state persistence. Comparing the setup process to Solana's development environment reveals some similarities and differences. Both platforms offer a CLI tool and a testnet faucet for development purposes. However, the account creation process and network selection differ between two. Aptos uses a different address format. Now that we have the CLI set up and we can interact with the testnet, let's understand the language that powers the smart contracts on the Aptos blockchain. And this language is called Move. Move is a safe and flexible programming language for implementing smart contracts on the Aptos blockchain. And from our previous slides, we know that it emphasizes resource-oriented programming and provides strong safety guarantees. Move's syntax and structure share some similarities with Rust, and this is why we had mentioned earlier that if you're a Solana or a Rust developer, it'll be very easy for you to get started with Aptos. In addition to the Rust syntax, Move also introduces new concepts specific to blockchain development. Let's take a very quick look at Move. Now, please note that we will cover Move's concepts in great details in upcoming videos. But right now, I'll just take you through some concepts that we use often in Move. The resource-oriented model approach of Move treats digital assets as VIP ensuring that they are unique and cannot be duplicated or lost. Additionally, Move uses strong static typing, which helps catch errors at compile time, enhancing the security and reliability of smart contracts. The module system in Move allows for organized and reusable code, while built-in security features protect against common vulnerabilities. When comparing Move syntax to Rust, developers will notice some similarities, such as the use of curly braces and semicolons. However, there are also notable differences, including type annotations and the structure of modules. Move's modules encapsulate related functionality and are similar to Rust's modules, but include blockchain-specific features. In Move, the struct keyword is used to define custom types. This is crucial for creating complex data structures that represent resources or other entities within the blockchain. The has key ability in Move is significant in resource-oriented programming as it designates certain structs as resources that can be stored in global storage. Function declarations in Move are straightforward. Public and private functions can be defined with clear parameters and return types. The acquires keyword is essential for accessing global storage, ensuring that functions declare any resources that they will access. Managing resources within Move is facilitated by functions like Move2 and Borrow Global, which help transfer and access resources securely. 
The signer type in Move is critical for transaction authentication, representing the account that initiates a transaction. This ties directly into Move's security model, ensuring that only authorized entities can perform certain actions. Move's ownership model differs from Rust's in that it uses a global storage model instead of Rust's stack-based ownership. Control structures like if statements are used in Move similarly to other programming languages, allowing for conditional logic. The assert macro is a powerful tool for implementing conditions and handling errors, ensuring that smart contracts behave as expected. Move also includes the exists function, which is used to check for the presence of resources in global storage. This is part of Move's approach to error handling, which, while different from Rust's result and option types, provides a robust mechanism for ensuring safe operations. The absence of null or undefined values in Move further contributes to its safety, preventing a common source of bugs and vulnerabilities. Move's type system and resource model are designed to prevent common smart contract vulnerabilities. For example, the strict handling of resources ensures that digital assets are not accidentally duplicated or destroyed. Additionally, Move's strong typing and module system help developers write secure and maintainable code. Move's standard library includes a variety of commonly used modules such as Standard Signer, which provides essential functionality for working with accounts and signatures. These modules offer a foundation for building complex applications on the Aptos blockchain, leveraging the powerful features of the Move language. By understanding and utilizing these features, developers can create robust, secure, and efficient smart contracts on the Aptos blockchain, leveraging the full potential of the Move programming language. Now that we have a very basic understanding of Move, let's take a big leap and create our first Aptos smart contract. And this involves writing Move code, compiling it, and deploying it to the Aptos testnet. We'll create a simple Hello World contract that stores a message and allows it to be updated and retrieved. The reason we're doing this in the first video itself is to get you hands-on with Move as quickly as possible. This small exercise will help us understand the fundamental structure and features of a Move module. We start by introducing the Move module structure. A Move module is declared with the module keyword followed by its name. Naming conventions are important for clarity and consistency. Dependencies are imported at the beginning of the module, which in our case includes standard string, Aptos framework account, and Aptos standard table. Within the module, we define a message holder struct. This struct uses the table type to store messages where each message is associated with an address. The has key ability indicates that instances of the struct can be stored in global storage, a crucial aspect for managing blockchain state. The init message holder function initializes the contract state. It checks if a message holder resource already exists for the given account using the exists function. If not, it creates a new message holder and moves it to the account storage. This ensures that each account has its own message holder instance. Next, the set message function allows updating or setting a new message for an account. It starts by ensuring a message holder exists for the account, initializing it if necessary. The acquires keyword indicates that this function will access the message holder resource. String manipulation in move is straightforward and the function handles the removal and destruction of any existing message before adding the new one. The get message function retrieves a message for a given address. It uses the view attribute, indicating that this function only reads data and does not modify the blockchain state. Assertions are used to handle errors, ensuring that the message holder and the message for the address exist. Error handling and assertions are integral to move contracts. The assert macro ensures that certain conditions are met, otherwise it triggers an error. This adds a layer of security and stability to the contract. To compile the move module, use the command aptos move compile named addresses with the named address as my address and which will be equal to your address. Named addresses help in organizing and managing deployment configurations. Deployment to the testnet is done using the command aptos move publish package path dot named addresses my address x is equal to your address and profile is testnet considering any necessary account setup or gas fee requirements. Verification of the deployment can be done using the Aptos Explorer to check deployed modules. The Aptos CLI can be used to interact with the deployed contract, ensuring everything works as expected. Comparing this to deploying smart contracts on Solana, both processes involve a CLI and a testnet. However, Aptos uses address formats and key schemes with distinct differences in gas fees and account models. For testing and debugging move contracts, tools like the Move Prover are invaluable for formal verification. 
Best practices include thorough testing of all contract functions and using the move prover to ensure the contract behaves as intended under all conditions. This hello world contract showcases the simplicity and power of the move language in managing blockchain state and resources efficiently. I hope you learned a lot today and I'll see you in the next video.